students we will learn an important category in indefinite integration an important type of integral is uh, dx divided by a quadratic expression in x like this is quadratic expression in x could be something like this could be something like this or could be another expression um, there are large number of possibilities now an important step is uh, when we start evaluating the integral you have to make coefficient of x square equal to 1 if it is not already 1 like in this integral it is already 1 and here it is 2 so you will have to make it 1 ok you can take 2 common out and other coefficients will change accordingly once you make coefficient of x square equal to 1 coefficient of x square you have to make equal to 1 if it is not already 1 once you have done this then you will combine the terms which contain x and make perfect square make perfect square from terms containing x once you do this your integral is going to change to a standard type it may be something like this so the result you have to use is this integral is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c but if integral reduces to something of this type dx upon x square minus a square type this integral is equal to 1 by 2a log x minus a divided by x plus a plus c ok now another possibility is your integral changes to this type so you will use this formula to evaluate ok so if you are given dx upon a quadratic expression in x step 1 you make coefficient of x square equal to 1 if it is not already 1 second you will combine terms containing x and make a perfect square then your integral is likely to reduce to one of these types now use the formula given to get the final expression or final answer ok uh, let's see an example See, this is the given integral step 1 check coefficient of x square it is already 1 step 2 I have to make a perfect square from terms containing x so x square plus 2x now if I write 5 as 1 plus 4 these three terms can be combined to make a perfect square now if you compare this expression your integral now matches this standard type whose result is this so I, I can use this formula directly and write the next step this integral can now be written as 1 by a which is 2 tan inverse x by a x is this expression so it will be x plus 1 here so this is the final answer ok you can easily evaluate see let's take another example Take a look, please. Uh, next example. Here, coefficient of x square is not 1. We have to make it 1. So, what I can do is, I can take 4 common out and get this. Okay. Now, in the next step, I can write this 13 by 4 as 4 plus 9 by 4 which can be written as if you split here it can be written like this now I have done this step to make a perfect square for terms containing x we have x square plus 2x now if we have 1 here it becomes a perfect square ok 
So I have written 13 by 4 effectively as 1 plus 9 by 4. So that these three terms can be combined to make a perfect square. Which I will write as. And this 9 by 4 could be written as 3 by 2 square. So it's again of the same type tx upon x square plus a square type. So, using the formula directly, it can be written as 1 by a tan inverse Ok, so final expression, let's write it 1 by 6 tan inverse This is the final answer, see Ok, so we'll try another example Example. Step one: Check coefficient of x square. It's already one. Okay. So now we have to make perfect square from terms containing x. So I can write this minus three as one minus four. So that I can make a perfect square using these three terms. Okay. So that integral is reduced to this type. This resembles tx upon x square minus a square type. Okay, whose integral is equal to this expression. I can use the expression directly to write the answer. Okay, that, that integral, writing it directly using this formula 1 by 2 a log x minus a upon x plus a you can write modulus plus c ok here also you can write modulus that, that's up to your understanding of log function ok so it further simplifies to log of x minus 1 upon x plus 3 plus c this is the answer to the question Okay, so we'll see another example. Okay, let's see this example. In this case, I can write this minus 13 as 3 minus 16. Then you can take 3 common from these terms and write it as a perfect square. Now I will take this 3 common out so that coefficient of x square becomes 1. Ok, so that integral is now reduced to this form. I can now use this formula. write the answer for this integral ok I write 1 by 2 a log x minus a upon x plus a here this expression is x and this is a so I write this as which you can simplify further ok so it's a easy category you have to be careful that coefficient of x square if not 1 you have to make it 1 combine the terms containing x carefully and make a perfect square it will reduce to one of the standard um, types and you can use the direct formula for that type and evaluate the answer ok we will see more in the next lecture Thank you.